friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am a professional home organizer and today we are going to prepare my coat closet for colder weather. It is getting a little bit chilly here in Boston, Massachusetts. By the time you see this video, it will be probably even colder. Um, but I am going to turn over our coat closet today from sort of warmer weather to cooler weather. Now here in Massachusetts where I live, we experience most of the cooler weather, ironically, despite what you've heard, in late December to January is when it starts to get really, really unpleasant. But it's actually pretty nice, mostly through November-ish, but December it starts to get really, really cold. So today I wanna to put all of my summer stuff away uh, for the season and make sure all my winter stuff's in good condition and declutter anything that I don't need or use anymore. So this is a good time to evaluate both the summer stuff and the winter stuff. So um, if you're feeling like you need to clean out your coat closet, use this video as some inspiration or just get a cup of coffee and watch with me as I tidy up this closet. Now it's not that bad, um, but we're gonna make it look even better today. So this is our coat closet and I am really fortunate to have this closet. It's right at our entrance. So it's where we put the most of our shoes. I really don't like having a lot of shoes out in the entryway. I'm only allotting for like a few pairs, but I do have a solution for when guests come over and I'll show you that in just a moment uh, or in a few, a little while. But I love this closet. It is outfitted with the Alpha shelving system from the Container Store. Uh, full disclosure, I used to work at the Container Store, shocker, and I used to design Alpha closets and have been uh, addicted and love the product ever since. So we brought all the Alpha pieces from our previous home and installed them into this closet. So these are reused pieces, but it worked out really great actually. And so it's where we have all of our coats, um, most of our shoes, not my fancy shoes, but just my general going out shoes. Um, all of our rain boots, clovers, food, all of clovers, like grooming stuff and general outdoor gear and all of our like weather type items, meaning like coats, scarves, gloves, all that stuff and more of clover stuff. Uh, the stuff that belongs to my husband, I, I of course will not be touching that. That is his business. So if you live with other people and you want to organize their stuff, don't do it. That is their responsibility. Or if they need help, you're welcome to help them. But I generally don't suggest that you organize other people's spaces without their permission or their assistance. So I won't be touching that stuff today, but I will be dealing with the stuff that is communal stuff and stuff that's Clover stuff and stuff that's my stuff. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take down those boxes that are up there. They've got some winter stuff in them. And I think there's some stuff that I might need to declutter as well. So let's get started. I do have a cup of coffee. I got the gingerbread coffee, the ground gingerbread coffee that Starbucks makes every Christmas. And I really like it. It's not like, the best coffee, but the flavor is delicious and I love it and it works great as a pour over. You know, I've got some slippers on and I think I'm gonna actually put on shoes. I think that'll be a little safer. I have this like spider grabber. If there's any like a large, if there's ever like a large spider, you can grab it without hurting them and put it outside. Um, I've used it a couple times. There have been like some large-ish spiders that I found here, um, but usually if it's like a small one, I just put it like under a glass and then like a postcard and put it outside that way. Um, but this is for the big boys, which I don't see that many of, but we have, we've had a couple. <laughs> so we just put them outside. Don't kill spiders, by the way. I just, a public service announcement, do not kill. Just put them outside. They just wandered in because they're eating food inside your house. So um, they're there for a reason, but just, you don't have to squash them. Just put them outside. They're minding their own business, mostly. Oh, 
I don't know why I did this. This was in a box at the top. I've been looking for this bag. This is like a cold uh, storage bag for groceries. You know what I mean. It's a cooler bag. I've been looking for this. See? We're not perfect. This house was also outfitted with a lot of door and wall racks, as you can see there. And we don't need all of them. There were so many that came with the house that I have taken off of the door and wall rack or just removed the whole thing completely. So I think I'm just gonna give these away on Facebook, everything free. Um, there's at least, there's three more in there. So five total, it's probably more. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna keep these up there anymore. That was dumb. A good idea if you're doing a project like this is to have a duster because because these places generally don't get cleaned like when you're doing your normal household clean you don't really open closets and sweep inside of closets or like brush the shelves that shoes are on and stuff so i like to have a duster because that way i can while i'm organizing i can dust um, inside the closet and on surfaces um, i'm going to concentrate on these boot boxes right here so i've got some boot boxes here which i'm going to dust um, really fast i don't think actually that mark is from dust i think they're just from wear i've had them for quite some time um, there are a couple of pairs of boots in here that I have questions about. I do really like these boots. Um, so I think I'm gonna hang on to these. These are like suede wedges, which are okay. Um, but I'm 100% sure that I am done ever wearing these. These were fun wh while I had them. Let me make sure they don't have any insoles inside. They do not. Um, but I, as a human, cannot walk around in these for hours. They're essentially like pumps. Um, and I think they will, I'll just pass these on to someone else. They're still wearable, um, but I'm gonna get rid of these forever. So I have an extra boot box. I may employ it to put some summer shoes in, um, but I'll see how much space I have. I've got another box of shoes here as well. These Skechers. Do I still want to keep these? I do wear these a lot. I think I will keep these. These are fine as well, but they're definitely summer shoes. So those are fine. Oh my gosh, here are the winter boots. So it's time for these to come out as much as that pains me to say. Um, these are sorrels. I've had these for a few years. I got them, I think I bought them on sale at Nordstrom one year and they're absolutely the best investment I could have made in New England. They are like waterproof. They'll keep your feet really warm, but taking them out means accepting that snow uh, is possible or is a thing that could happen. So it saddens me to have these come out of their storage, but there they are. So we'll take those out. And this is where summer shoes can go. So there's some cedar here. I don't think I need cedar for shoes, but it might keep them fresh. Um, what I'm going to do is I don't smell the cedar smell anymore. I'm going to grab some sandpaper from the basement and sand these down. We were actually surprising Lilo on sandpaper. I didn't know if I had any, but I did have a little bit of sandpaper. So if you ever have cedar chips or cedar balls or cedar planks and you don't smell the cedar anymore, just give it a little rub of some sandpaper to um, reveal some of those uh, not volatile, but aromatic <laughs> molecules that are in cedar so that you can smell it and therefore pests can smell it too. Okay, let's put some of the summer shoes in storage for winter, which makes me sad. These are summer. These are most definitely summer. You know what, I may need to use this big this big box for summer shoes, I think that might be a better idea. Let's do that. I do think, while I'm looking at them, I do think it's time for me to let go of these like pony hair zebra print boots. They're really fun. These are so fun. Like, look at these. But I have not worn these in such a long time. So it's time, it's time for them to go. Okay. This can be my summer shoe bin, although now if I have this bin free, or you know what, this can go in here. 
because I wear those very occasionally um, just because they're so kind of specialized. You do a little quick dust. Got some sandpaper dust on there. So summer, summer shoes, <laughs> summer shoes in this container, I think we'll do it like this. That way you don't have to get any of the soles on non-dirty parts of the shoes. I am really sad when I have to put my summer things away for the season. I really like the warmer weather. I mostly like fall weather more than I like hot summer weather, but um, I do, I am trying to enjoy the cooler weather. I'm trying to romanticize it a lot and it's helping, but it is really hard when you have to put a coat on every time you leave the house. These are definitely summer and these are most definitely summer. Oh my gosh, I have so many summer shoes. I may need a second container. If I can put some of these on top, it might not be as bad. I might be able to do that. Will it still close? Yes, I can put a few more on top. Okay, these are summer. And these are summer. My bobs. Okay, so these are the last of the summer shoes. Can I fit these like that? I think that's fine. Okay, hopefully I can get this closed. <laughs> It's a little, it's a little packed, but I think it'll be fine. It'll fit into one box. So those are the summer shoes going away for the season. How sad. One cedar in there. Okay, summer shoes going up here. Okay. These boots. These boots. I really like these boots. I like that they have a bow on the side. They're so cute, look at them. Adorable. They were gifted to me um, a while ago and I've actually had them altered. Um, do I still like them? Let me try them on. The last time I wore them, I found them a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, they're actually nice, this is nice. Let me try the other one on. Okay. I'm just questioning it because the last time I had them on, I found them uncomfortable, but I really like them. I like the way they look. And maybe it was just because I was wearing too thick of socks with them, because now they feel nice. It was more this area here that I thought was uncomfortable, but now it feels fine. Yeah, I have actually had these, I've had the leather um, cut down to fit my height. <laughs> and I think I have had, also had the soles replaced. Yes, I replaced the soles on these. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna keep these. I'm finding I have these le leggings on and sort of thinner socks and I'm a lot more comfortable with these now. So, I think I'm gonna keep these, um, but I was toying with the idea of passing them on. I think I'm gonna keep them though, because I love them so much. Um, I just have to make sure that I'm not wearing too thick uh, a socks around my ankle bone, uh, because that made them really uncomfortable or, um, you know, so uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'll keep them. They're so awesome. And I do, I do really like wearing them. I just don't think they're for like long commutes. <laughs> um, I, I think the last time I wore these, I was, uh, I was working all day in the city and I was walking around so much. And it was like a really cold day and I was really bundled up and I had so much around my ankles and they just started rubbing and I was like, oh, uncomfortable. So I'll give them a few more tries just um, with not so much socks and I will keep these 
for the foreseeable future. I think, can I hold these up with this? Not so much, <laughs> but um, I will hold on to these. I really like them. So we're gonna just chill with those right there. Oh, you know what? You know something? I think I'm confusing those with these. These may be now uncomfortable because I know I bought these a few years ago um, and when like it wasn't when it was really hard to find boots that fit um, let's see well now these are fine too hmm I like all my boots <laughs> Okay, I don't have to declutter all of my boots. I really do like them all. And I have a new black pair that are really nice. These are fine. I don't know why I was questioning it. I do have a new pair though. Not that I know where they are. Where, where, would, where would they go? Okay, I actually have two new, two new pairs of tall boots. I do have a black pair, which these are really comfortable. And I have a new brown pair as well. These are uh, very comfortable um, with thicker socks. So these are for like warmer weather. Um, and I actually do still like these like brown guys. Um, so I'll keep them all. Yes, I have now four pairs of boots, but <laughs> they are good for cold weather and skirts or leggings in Massachusetts. So sue me, I'm gonna keep all these boots. <laughs> I do believe I had these resold as well. I did, same brand. Yes, I had these resold as well. And I had the zipper repaired on these um, at one point. So, um, you know, buy a nice pair of leather boots will last you quite a long time. All right, shoes back on. Okay. Um, these, I really like these, but I think it may be time for me to replace them. Um, I mean, I could just replace the sole. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I should just buy a new pair. It's got rocks in the soles. <laughs> it's got rocks in the soles. And also like the soles are completely like mostly destroyed. I mean, I could take these to a cobbler and have them repaired. They just weren't, I don't know how much it is worth it to fix them rather than buy a new pair. So I think I'm just gonna recycle these and buy a new pair. I really like these. Um, I'm just gonna get a new pair of them. They're from a brand called uh, JBU, I believe. I have a few JBU shoes. I bought these from Amazon actually. And these are awesome for winter time. They say waterproof, but they're not really that waterproof. There's a, a eight medium red rock. I'll have to remember that, but I'm gonna just get a new pair and we're gonna recycle these. Thank you for your service. These, however, these are JBU too, and they're super cute. Well, they're like a Chelsea boot-ish. Um, and I've been wearing these a lot, actually. The only problem with these is, is I wish the, the soles were a little softer because they, it's a very clompy situation when you're walking with these, but I like these, so I'm gonna keep these. I think I'm gonna put away some of these sneakers as well. These are summer sneakers and yeah. Summer sneakers in there and sandals. Okay, more summer shoes. Okay, I just brought the camera in a little closer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I have some rain boots here, which I adore. I, I adore them. They're my favorite thing ever. I have recently discovered that there is a tear somewhere in the rain boot and I got a I got a repair kit, but I haven't actually done the repair. <laughs> so um, maybe I should do that right now while I'm thinking about it, um, just to hold myself accountable. If you have a pair of wellies that you like a lot, you can definitely repair them if there's a, a hole somewhere. Let me just review to see where the hole is. Cause I did notice one day I was walking and definitely got a little wet. I got these from Anthropology a few years ago and they've been super. I don't think this one has the hole in it. Yeah, it might be the other one. Oh no, it's the, there's a hole right here. It's a little crack. I don't know if you can see, but there's like the tiniest crack like right here. 
right there. Okay, so that one has it on the outside. And then on this one, oh, there's a big crack. Big crack, big crack right there. You can see. I think those are the only ones though. They held up pretty well. Um, so let's do this. Let's do this repair. This is the um, Aqua Seal FD repair kit. Stops leaks, repair waders and inflatables. All right. Um, it says clean and dry surface. Oh, I should do that. Roughen smooth surfaces. What? Apply Aqua Seal to leak, cut or tear, cover with patch or keep level until fully cured, which is eight or 12 hours. Okay. Oh, there's a little patch that comes with it? Let's see. First, we will clean the little, we will clean. Let's see. Oh, it does come with a little patch. That's, oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's get some cleaner. I just grabbed some spray. And oh, there's a little, little tear right there as well. Let's see. Clean the outside here. Big tear. I get a lot of compliments when I wear these rain boots because people are like, oh my gosh, I love those rain boots. And I'm like, you know, if it's gonna rain and be like poopy outside, you might as well be colorful and in a good mood, you know? So, cause I know that I always get kind of sad when it rains a lot. Like if it rains for like multiple days in a row, I'm like, ah, put these rain boots on and feel much better because it's bright colors, flowers, makes me smile. So try to romanticize it, you know, jump in puddles, but not if your wellies have a hole in them like these. Okay, let's do this. Oh no, I have to, how do you open this? Oh, wear disposable gloves for easy cleanup. <laughs> okay, I could do that. All right, we got some gloves for easy cleanup. Oh, although, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put these on. <laughs> okay, this is not gonna work out. Okay, just one, one glove. We're gonna use one hand, okay? We're gonna pierce this. All right, that wasn't too bad. I'm using a screw here. All right, here we go. That's done. Okay, I don't know if that helped the patch. We're gonna, we're gonna do the other side now. There's no, oh, there is a little. I don't know if the patch is really gonna be helpful or not. We'll just, we'll just do the other ones. Oh, one of the brush hairs came off. That's, oh my God, another one came off. Are you kidding? All right, well, those brush hair is now permanently part of my boots. That's okay. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work great. Okay. Then, yeah, that's the big, that's the big boy right there. Glob that on. If the question is, is it strong smelling? The answer is yes. <laughs> it's strong smelling. All right, this one I will put the patch on, I think. This is a big one. Now, am I supposed to take the patch off? I think so. Okay, was there another one? Another hole? I don't think so. All right, I think that'll do um, for a little while. Put the cap back on for next time. I'll let you know if it works or not. I'll put like a little footnote or whatever in the video. <laughs> but um, I don't know, seems promising. Got good reviews on the Amazon, so hopefully it will be the key I need. 
Oh, it is very sticky. I'm gonna go wash my hands before I bond my hands together. Okay, I finally did that. I'm so glad I finally actually did that. And we're gonna put these in a safe place way in the back of the coat closet. One of these actually is meaning to have an insole. Oh no, they both have the insoles. Okay, well, I don't know what's up with that then. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna take out this um, boot mat and I'm gonna do clean it a little bit. I don't think I have to wash this right now, but I definitely will vacuum it and uh, get the dust off of it outside. This is a boot mat that you can put uh, in the entryway of your home and you can wash it in the washing machine if it gets really dirty. If you don't want like to put a boot tray in, uh, in your home for whatever reason, it's mostly because of storage, because you can store this, you can roll it up when you not use it, right? A boot tray, you have to really fit somewhere. Um, this is a good alternative if you don't have room for a boot tray during when it's not cold. Um, or if you want something you can just toss in the wash, you don't have to worry about cleaning manually. Um, I will try to link all the products that I can down in the description below. But this is made by a company called Harm Harman. Anyway, it's a boot drying mat and it's one of my favorite things. I have two of these actually. So there's definitely some dust down in here. I'll give it a good vacuum while I'm down here. Oh my gosh, I have to take this and put it downstairs. This was my even up, even up for when I had a foot injury and I wore a boot for a couple of months. This helps you uh, level out your shoes so that you are walking at the same height as your boot so that you don't injure yourself. Um, yeah, Ugh, I don't wanna think about those times. And when I was talking about storage solutions um, for small spaces with shoes, this is the Yamazaki shoe rack that I think works great for guests. When I have people coming over, I just put this in my front hallway and they can put their shoes there. <laughs> and so that way they don't have to be kind of taking up a lot of space in the hallway. They can just be like that, taking up a lot of more vertical space because this is such a small footprint. And it's so nice when I have people come over, when I'm not you know, having guests, I just use this as a spare place to put um, the rest of my shoes, especially in summertime when I wear a lot more different shoes. But um, I think this is a great solution. It was super easy to build, great quality from Yamazaki. Yamazaki makes really beautiful organizing products, I think worth every penny. I will link this down in the description below. I did buy this from Amazon, but you can buy directly from, a, you know, that's a lie. I did buy it directly from Yamazaki because I got a deal. So, um, but you can buy it on Amazon as well. I will put both links down below. So I'm gonna take all the rest of these shoes off the shelves, there's only like four pairs left, give them a good uh, wipe down and be done with shoes for the time. <laughs> and then we'll move on to like coats and other stuff. This is a long video, I'm so sorry.
that fits so perfectly in that space. It's kind of ridiculous, but it, it fits so well. Okay, this is looking a lot better and prepared for winter. I've got my boots, most worn boots, always out. And the rain boots are curing. Hopefully it won't rain in the next few days. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna give it a few days to cure. And just in case we have company um, or I need extra pairs of shoes to store, I can put them right there. Because in our entryway, we do have pairs uh, stored here as well. I told my husband I would make uh, room for some of his pairs in there because you see he's been using the majority of this thing and not leaving any space for me so I'm gonna put some of these in there as well. There we go. Okay next I'm gonna deal with this top shelf here. Um, to be completely honest the drawers maybe need to be tidied up a, a tad but they're honestly fine um, I'll show you the drawers in a little bit but this top shelf has like gotten a little out of control so we've got all kinds of things we got a bag organizer um, that I think I'm actually going to retire this this was my purse organizer for a long time I think I'm gonna retire it. I think I'm gonna get a new one um, but it's been really good it's from in bag I don't know if you can buy this still um, but if you can I'll link it down below um, and it's got some of my dogs like pill wrap in here which I think I can take downstairs because I have extras I was getting a lot of this for a while like I was it was like the Amazon subscribe and save kind of thing um, but since we've varied his medication I'm using this less frequently so I had to like change the subscribe and save so now we have like so much extra so I'll take that downstairs with the rest of it uh, this bin is interesting I'm going to take this out <laughs> <laughs> go through that I got oh my gosh this is the other half of my even up <laughs> oh no then I've got this enormous container store shopping bag which is actually super awesome um, I'm gonna put this in my car because otherwise it's not gonna do me any good there what else is in here oh my gosh I think this is dog toys it is dog toys <laughs> It's dog toys. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna take these downstairs. We have a, like a toy rotation kind of schedule. So the dog, sometimes these different dog toys come out. So he gets kind of excited. Like this one, he, oh my gosh, look. He took the, it was a little pig. He took the ears completely off of it. And I don't think, did we buy this for him or did he steal it from someone? He may have stolen this from a friend, not really sure. But anyway, those are gonna go downstairs with the rest of the toys. Then it's empty there. Oh, it's very dirty. Oh. And I've got another shopping bag, looks like. This is like a, one of those Marshall shopping bags. Again, I'm gonna take it to my car. I think it lives there. 
H Mart shopping bag. What's this? <gasps> Another container store shopping bag. Oh my gosh, these all belong in my car. <laughs> they don't do me any good out here because I never remember them if they're not in my car. So I'm gonna give this a really quick wipe down um, and then we'll uh, deal with the stuff. Give it a little dust first. There's also that bag. Those bags in here, which I don't think I'm gonna keep in here. Quick wipe down. This shelf really, at the end of the day, super not functional. Uh, that little bin is kind of useful, but it's not really a functional shelf because it's so close to the coats. What is this? There's some gunk on here. incredibly satisfying okay I have some room for some warmer weather coats and jackets and I think some of that can go in there like I don't think I'm gonna wear this again until spring I love this by the way it's so beautiful it's got a tie on it I love wearing this when it's like just kind of warm out but not really it's stunning 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 okay um, put that in there and then this raincoat I don't think I will need until spring again again very cute raincoat anything else in here this i still wear um any long coats can go in maybe well no i'll keep that out okay I, everything else can stay out i do think these bags don't really belong in here. These are like tote bags. I'm gonna take these out. And I don't, this is for like traveling. Oh goodness, okay, this is also for summer. Um, we're done with that. So I'll put that in the summer storage clothing place as well. All right, I'm gonna change the label on this. All right, seasonal, that's appropriate. We're gonna toss that right up there. Okay, I have downsized on the amount of coats that are hanging, and I think the long hanging coats are fine. I definitely still have to have a raincoat out. <laughs> I'll just show you what's going on here really quick. There's um, a lot of my long hanging coats because I am cold and short and need a lot of long <laughs> hanging coats. I have, this is a, like a raincoat. This is a coat for when it's like minus 10 degrees outside, 10 Fahrenheit. If it's colder than 10, this this is the coat of choice it makes me look like an astronaut um but it is warm and i need it and then we've got a coat for like medium cold and then one just honestly just for fashions i'll show it to you this coat is fabulous and if i show up like at the opera or whatever or after performance this is not warm okay i just want you to understand this this is not a warm coat but it is it is fabulous and it has a place <laughs> Okay, so that is good. And I think that I just have to deal with the stuff on the floor. I honestly will begin with taking all these shopping bags to my car because they are doing me no good hanging out here as well as like the one produce bag that's here. Um, I'll take these to my car because when I go shopping, I need these. I don't know why I don't bring them out, back out to my car. This bin actually has a purpose. It is like the bin where I throw all of the, the insoles, the original insoles from my shoes because I do wear insoles, like separate insoles because I have poor foot anatomy. So 
Let me just concentrate on getting this organized. These are singing masks. I hate wearing them. I hope I never have to wear them again. The insoles, I think I'm gonna find the others of that. What is, what is okay, that one, I know what that belongs to. These are glasses cases. This is this guy. I think that is good. This is just my weird personal bin, but it works really well for me. <laughs> All right, I don't think I need to keep so much dog medication up here. I think I will bring some of it downstairs. I have like three extra packages of his Cushing's meds along with this extra thing of pill wrap. So I will bring that downstairs along with the travel bags, the even up, and the dog toys. Let's see if I can make it in one trip. Okay, this top little thingy, it's just got like flea and tick spray in it and like the spare of the, the lint roller. So I think that's fine. Um, and this is um, permethrin for like to repel ticks and stuff, but it's inside a little bag because I haven't opened it yet. So I'm gonna put that back. <laughs> And, and when we decide to treat our clothes, it's there. Um, the, the COVID test though, I, I don't know why that's up there. So is this even still good? Oh, it's still good, it's still good. So I'll put it with the other COVID tests. I feel like this is a good place for COVID tests. I have a little bin I can put them in too, so that they're not just out that I'm not using. So I'll grab that. And my home bins have many jobs <laughs> and they change jobs frequently. I love these. Water hyacinth bins from the container store. They're so cute and they are pretty affordable. Um, uh, you know, as we're talking about the container store here, they fit in this way. Of course not, that would be too perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> so they only fit this way, that's fine. So I think that hopefully they should be able to fit in like, like that. That way we can just grab, we have so many of these. It's a little bit of obsessive compulsive going on there, I think. Okay. Just, I hate the look of this because I don't want to think about COVID-19, but sometimes it's, you got to think about it. Okay, here we go. Just in case, there we are. It's fine. Yay. This is actually a good place for that to go. I don't want to say this out loud because I feel like I will, it's bad juju, but um, I, I have never po tested positive for COVID-19 despite being exposed multiple times. My husband has had it twice. Um, the first time there were no symptoms and the second time he just was very mild. So I don't know. I've taken dozens of tests because of the nature of my other job. Um, if you don't know, I'm a professional singer as well. And you know, during productions, so like opera productions and things like that, there's a, like a test requirement because of the nature of what you're doing. It's kind of easy. It's easy to have a situation where like everybody gets sick. Um, but I don't know, knock on wood, we're hoping that maybe I just, it's not in my, well, you know what? I'm okay, Never mind. Just forget I said anything. Just, okay. I kind of like the way that this is shaping up and it looks really good. This drawer is my drawer and you know what, ironically, unironically, it still looks really good. I'll give you a view of the inside of the drawer. So this is where all my scarves and hats and gloves live. Um, this is good. I, I organized this last year, I think on video and I've managed to maintain this. This system works for me. I got all my gloves here, all my hats here and all my scarves here and it works really well. I just find, you know, the one I want and when I'm done with it, I refold it, put it back in just like this way. If you are, do not fold your items this way in a drawer, you are doing yourself a disservice in my opinion, because this is the best way to find items, just like a file. You can find whatever you want. Um, I can find the black one, you know, if I need to do a concert and need to have a scarf or I can find this one. This is like my fabulous, I got this from Old Navy, I think it was really cheap, but it's one of my favorite infinity scarves or if I need some bright colors or faux fur or whatever, just whatever look I want, 
I can immediately see it, so highly recommend. By the way, my sister-in-law knitted this hat for me, a little little pom-pom on top. Isn't it adorable? How cute is that? So when it's snowing, I have something to wear. I also have another one she made for me too, a little pink one, and it has like um, satin on the inside, which is really thoughtful of her. And I have this ugly rain hat because dogs okay it's necessary but <laughs> that's what's inside i have all like mittens and gloves and things like that and scarves because new england yeah. this is oh oh no all right let's let's just neaten this up really quick so this is where i keep my purses um by the way i they sold this bag at container store like i don't know 10 years ago and it's my favorite bag in the world. I love this stupid shoulder bag <laughs> because it's got a place for your iPad. And I, being a, a musician, I now read my music off of my tablet, my iPad. It's got all of my repertoire for the entire season or whatever on it. And so I don't have to carry around tons of sheet music. So it's got a place for the iPad and then I got a place for like my purse stuff. This thing is the bomb. Dot com. I mean, normally if I don't have a book bag or a backpack, my husband always makes fun of me for saying book bag. If I don't have a backpack, I take this and the, like, I feel like, oh yeah, the, um, one of the hand handles, straps, one of the strap sides has like come, come off. I've sewed it back with like the wrong color thread. Um, I am obsessed with this bag and it's, plus it's got a pink interior. It's from Bagalini. I think it was like a limited edition container store thing. Um, and it's got like, this little thing if you want to travel with it, but I don't like make it a sleeve, but I don't really get that. I mean, it's small enough to where I think you should be able to carry it. But anyway, I thought I should say that. I, I would link it, but I can't, but I just wanted to share it. I don't know. Um, and then the rest of these are just like regular purses that I will cycle through throughout the year. So I'm just gonna neaten everything up. And of course we, <sighs> masks, right? <laughs> don't get me started. All right, we'll just neaten it up a little bit. Oh, this is my period pouch for all, it's got like an extra pair of underwear in it and like some tampons and stuff. I'm gonna reload this and put it back in there. Um, so that's a good thing to have. If you, you know, don't just carry around pads by themselves or tampons by themselves, you're gonna need a whole pack. It's got a little chocolate in it too, just in case, you know. All right, this is my nice purse. Oh no, what happened here? This whole thing like slide off. I'll snap that back on. Hopefully it will stay. Please stay. Yeah, okay. The thing that's great about these Bagalini bags is that you don't need to like, you can just fold them up and put them in the drawer like that. I, Bagalini, I'm a big fan. I, they are kind of pricey for what they are. I, I don't, they're not leather though. I think they're, made of rayon or something, or uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but they are really, they're like mostly waterproof and they're quite durable. So I think that is okay. And this is Clover's drawer. Um, oh my gosh, he's, oh, we never gave him the Halloween toy. Uh, oh no. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. He can have this for Christmas. <laughs> He doesn't know that it's a bat for Halloween. Um, we'll give it to him for Christmas. Isn't that cute? I didn't, my husband bought this for him, but isn't that adorable? Look, it's a little bat and it's got these little like papery things that he likes. He likes that like paper type. and plus it's got a, yeah, yeah, yeah. he can have it for Christmas. Um, oh, he's also got like a new pack of balls in here. So, because actually funny story, one time we got, I'm, I got a food delivery from one of the local stores around here and they delivered it to my same address in like a different town. <laughs> and I was like, hey, where's the food? And they were like, we delivered it. I was like, no, you didn't. And then they called, they were like, oops, we delivered it to another town. And the person who got the delivery texted me because my phone number was on the package. And they were like, did you order some dog food? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, um, we got your dog food. Do you want it? We'll throw it out. And I was like, no, I want it. So I went to the other town and got the dog food. So I got a free bag of dog food and balls because I ordered balls at the same time. So now we have an extra pack of balls. I'll save those for next time. You know what? I think this is fine. This just needs to be neatened up a little bit. It has um, Clover's rain suit in here. 
a little bit of his travel stuff. He's got like travel bowls. Um, this is like a long line for playing in a, in a public place where he can't be off leash. And his like razor for shaving. I'm just gonna pop those in there. This is perfect, this is fine. This is just fine. Maybe I'll throw this in here too, because this is the other razor. Like this is the scare, scaredy cut, because um, he is a scaredy cat of the razor. So sometimes if I don't want to use like the whole shaver thing, I'll just this, do the scaredy cut. Um, and we're good. It's got a cone. We got a we got a comfy cone in here. Um, thank God we haven't had to use that in a while. So, um, but it is it uh, it is there just in case we get an extra lease. Le we got an extra leash, extra um, harness in here, cooling coat. We won't need that till summer, but it can stay there. Um, yeah, we're good. Good to go with Clover. I think I think we're all done. I think we just need to do a little bit of tightening on the sides and we'll be all done. This door and wall rack side pretty much belongs to my husband, except for like these are mine. These are like my, uh, my bamboo charcoal things for my shoes to keep my shoes from getting too stinky. Um, this vacuum thing can actually go with the vacuum. I moved the vacuum to the kitchen. It used to live around here, uh, but I moved it to put the robot vacuum. And now I have some robot vacuum accessories here. And that's really all that needs to live here. I'm not really fussed to like put any other items there. I'm just gonna move these to a boot and move these to where the vacuum net lives now. Oh, I didn't tell you what these were. These are vacuum beads. So you put them in the, I think the, the receptacle in your vacuum and it makes your air smell good. <laughs> They're kind of dumb, but I, I like them. They're fun. Okay, since this is Husbando's, I'm not gonna touch it. I did touch the COVID-19 tests, but um, that is something that belongs to the both of us. And he's got like some sunscreen here. So I'm just gonna leave it and jump to the other side. Got some shopping bags in here. I think this is fine. It just needs a little bit of a tidy up. These are all like foldable or have like a receptacle. So I'm just gonna neaten that up. Recycle that. I had a podcast with one of my best friends for a long time called the Derek and Kay show. And we had some merch made. <laughs> no one bought it or anything. This is when like YouTube wasn't as popular. It was, uh, we were on a platform called blog talk radio and, um, we had so much fun. I think we had the show for like 10 years. We had, we had a blast. I probably, some of the stuff that like I, we did on the show would get us canceled in 2023. Um, but we, we, we had fun actually also where I have my um, umbrellas for some reason. Don't ask me why. It just is. I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, Sephora bag. All right, shopping bags are in place. Now, these three belong to my dog, Clover. Um, this, I'm going to finally let go of this. This was his water bottle. Um, and we, it's kind of cool. I got this on Amazon like years and years ago. I think when I filmed that original like video, this was in the video maybe. Um, but it's kind of, it's leaky and terrible now. So I'm just going to get rid of it because we have a new one. I got a new one from a brand called Springer and it's awesome. You, uh, it's got this and it's just like a little bowl and you open it like that. It's got water and I'm going to pour it out because it's done. And then, but you squeeze it and then water comes out and they can drink. So it's so good for the park. Um, I'm gonna rinse this out and uh, put it away for the season. But um, yeah, so that's my latest dog water bottle recommendation. So there you go. All right, and in here, extra poop bags. Yeah, poop bags in there. We got some extra. I'm on one of those Amazon subscribe and saves. So it's the last of that until the next box comes. But that is good for that. This is just a paw washer, Paul washer, you put his polish in there um, in case there's a really messy day. Let's see, I'll take this out and put this here just in case, you know what? I don't know why this wouldn't be right here. Um, the rest of that's just boots, that's fine. The very bottom is grooming stuff. What are these like, instructions for? Oh, this is for the dryer, I don't need that. This is his <laughs> town license. I definitely want to hold on to that. 
I'm gonna put that on him. And I think the rest of this is fine. Um, the only thing that I don't know if I'm gonna need is the uh, do Duoxo Seb. This is for when he had um, a really bad skin condition. I'll hold on to it. I don't know if that's gonna come back or not. Um, because of Cushing's disease, he had some really bad dandruff for a while, and that actually helped along with some medicated shampoo. Everything else here is fine. I think we are good to go. all done I feel like we are ready for winter and I feel like I did a pretty good job on it let me know if your coat closet is out of control or if it's like so perfectly organized I am curious I do think once a year at at least it's good to go through the coat closet or entryway closet wherever you live if you live in California this may not be like a really important space to you but as a as a cold weather uh, resident this is a really important and well used space so this is probably gonna be one of the longest organized with me videos on my channel I feel like I've been filming for a really long time but I hope that you enjoyed it and enjoyed hanging out with me and i uh thanks for watching <laughs> i guess i'll see you in the next one bye